Welcome back, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Corvette Ed's Garage. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to be here, man. I've been cooped up for weeks, uh, five weeks, and I just, uh, I'm so done with uh, the shingles. I'll tell you, man, nasty stuff. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a different take on uh, on the, the electric glide here. Uh, is it smart to buy an older electric glide uh, versus buying a new one? Well, I'll tell you what, I've been looking at the prices of the new ones, you know, because yeah, they got the bigger engines and whatnot. And I, I get it, you know, but thirty, forty thousand dollars. Uh, CVOs are even going for fifty thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Is that there are rich teams and there are poor teams. Then there's fifty feet of crap, and then there's us. I, I just can't see myself doing that. I mean, I, I I bought this one brand new back in the day, you know, and here we are, twenty odd some twenty years later, twenty plus years later. And, uh, you know, the, the old girl is behind the times. Watch it, they don't text. But, you know what? I think that uh, by doing the upgrades that I want to do to it, I'm going to bring her into 2023 specs. Now, granted, uh, you know, everything that I'm going to be doing to it is got nothing to do with the motor. The motor will come later. I'm going to do a big bore. That will come later. Um, but... I think, uh, you know, when you look at it, if you, if you look at a twin cam, uh, older twin cam like this, you're probably looking about seven, eight thousand dollars. You know, uh, one in this kind of condition, you're probably looking at about ten grand. Okay. So, I mean, even at seven or eight thousand dollars, uh, you know, that's a hell of a lot cheaper than thirty grand, forty grand, fifty grand for that matter. Um, Will I be able to get her as fast as uh, 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 the newer, you know, Harleys? Probably not. Most of them. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Yeah. Um, you know, but that, that's going into doing a big bore, changing cams and whatnot. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you an idea of the cost of, of what it's going to take to bring this up to a more modern era. Okay. So, uh, with that being said, um, in this episode, we're going to work on replacing the stereo, uh, taking the stock one out, putting uh, a new one in. Um, also, uh, we're probably going to do speakers at, uh, after, after this episode. Uh, I'll give you a cost of what the lights cost, the stereo, uh, everything that's going to cost, uh, what, what the cost is going to be for everything that I do to it to bring it up to uh, modern era. Okay, with that being said, um, let's get to it right after this. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Um, after a closer look at these uh, wind deflectors, these are the items we're going to install now. I mean, I like the wind deflectors, but I, I really, I don't know. Uh, I just, when it comes to, you know, uh, 60 mile an hour, 70 mile an hour, even 80 mile an hour wind, I kind of have my doubts that these will hold up. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and install them anyway. Uh, I like these because... It has a uh, adjustable flap, okay. So for the uh, summertime, uh, you can just leave them open, and they lock into place. Push down, lock in another place, and three. It's got three settings. Uh, I hope they do hold up, and if they do, I'll update the uh, uh, the video with uh, a link to where I got them. But like I said, uh, I just don't know. Uh, and, and now the now the radio. Uh, this is a uh, popular upgrade that uh, a lot of the Harley guys are doing. Um, reason being is that um, uh, this radio is a plug and play. So basically, you just plug in your harness into the back of the radio, 
Uh, it's already set up for a Harley uh, 23 pin. And uh, then you uh, are still able to use your uh, volume control on, on your handlebars. You're still able to use your modes and whatnot. So that's why I went with this one. And the fact that it's about 288 uh, 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 watts. So I, I like to uh, go with four speaker setup. Uh, but right now we're going to see if we can blow up the stock speakers. This is the part where we blow up! Not today! That would be nice. Um, but uh, uh, this is uh, this one I'm going to install. What I like about this one here is you got a MP3 uh, cord and a USB cord. Okay? Um, they said the phone's supposed to... Uh, it looks like a phone would fit in there. So... Um, Basically, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, with your phone, you can just stick it in there and you're good to go. Uh, the face plate goes over it, right off to the side, and the face plate, it's, it's huge. It's about the biggest face plate I've ever seen. I like them when they're really big, and I think it's better when they're enormous. Uh, only Harley, of course. Anyway, that's the face plate there. Uh, like I said, the uh, reason why I bought this one is because um, uh, I can still use the controls on my uh, handlebars, which uh, I love that. Uh, like I said earlier, the only thing I'm going to lose is the, uh, if, I, if I mention it, the automatic uh, uh, volume control. Uh, so when you speed up, the volume automatically goes up where you set it uh, originally. And then when you slow down, it actually goes down, uh, which is kind of a neat feature, but again, it's, it's a love and hate relationship. All right, let's get to it. You're not going to do what I think you're going to do. Well, welcome back to the candy store. Well, you know, I just couldn't. That's not that nice. That's Finish that system without uh, adding some speakers. I mean, uh, it's the first time I've ever heard bass coming out of my uh, stock speakers. So what I ended up doing is I picked up uh, some Hog Tunes Generation 3. Now, there's been some different reviews on these guys, uh, but they do make another set that uh, is uh, lesser than this one, I think. Uh, I hear that this one here, the Generation, um, this one kicks in some uh, really decent bass. So let's take a look at it real quick. All right. Hog tune stickers. I like it. Oh, yeah. I got this from Rev Revzilla, um, as I did with the stereo. So uh, let's take a look at them. All right. Looks like they are uh, plug and play. You got the. Yeah, let me, let's take. Let's do a little bit of a zoom here. It's nice. All right. Let's see. There's my hand. There we go. Oh. These are um, the five and, the, and a quarter. These will fit exactly where the uh, stock uh, exactly as the stock. Um, uh, uh, speakers so there's no um, no there won't be any issues with the fairing um, it's pretty nice it's pretty heavy the magnets are pretty decent um, I think uh, I'll be really happy with these um, that's yeah, they look cool let's get them on and find out what this uh, stereo can really do so uh, I did order some uh, I got lucky and I did order um, I, it took me about three maybe four months but I found the period correct uh, lower fairings which I'm going to put uh, install speakers on those and these are uh, actually the, the fairings came off a 2003 electric light or ultra electric light class or ultra electric light so um, off of a uh, peace officer uh, motorcycle so the paint's correct, everything's correct, it's uh, period correct, so we'll be showing that at a later date. So, in the meantime, let's go ahead and get these on. There we go. Okay, I went ahead and uh, 
Polish Cows uh, fairing because I'm going to put the uh, bra back on. And as you remember, I did the uh, LED lighting. Uh, in case you uh, want to see it again, there you go. Uh, I think I'll be able to be seen uh, with all that. Uh, love the uh, way it's a uh, uh, switchback. Anyway, and I forgot about the couple bolts on the side over here. So once there's a total of five, uh, three, four, five, six, seven bolts. And there she is right there. So. All right, now it's time to put this in here. Put a little soap around here. That way it gets, uh, it, there's a seal. It, it's got to go in, in between the uh, fairing. So, okay. It is a tight fit. Okay. That was easy. God damn it, Smith! Jesus Christ, nothing's easy on this goddamn bike. Oh, pardon me. Okay. Um, these are real simple to do. You got one, two, you got three bolts here that uh, hold this together. So you got these three here. Real simple. sure I have a uh, software uh, um, I have to use uh, non uh, copyright material but uh, here's what it sounds like with the uh, octunes Well, there you have it. Um, that's the end of uh, uh, this uh, episode, pretty much, for uh, the stereo and the uh, Hogtoon speakers. I'm pretty jazzed. It sounds... Sounds pretty loud. So so far, and here and here we are. Here you'll see the there's the totals of what I've spent on uh, uh, everything uh, so far. I also added uh, uh, seventy five hundred dollars uh, just for uh, you know, like I said, the twin cams eighty eight are about uh, seven to uh, eight thousand dollars. So I just put down a seventy five hundred dollar figure. So. Uh, uh, right now we're up to about 8,200. That's not bad considering. Um, so, uh, these are all the figures from now. And now I'm going to, uh, lower fairings, which is the one thing that this didn't have. Uh, Electric Light Classic, it pretty much has all the equipment that the Ultra Electric Light Classic had, uh, minus the lower fairings. Okay, and of course there were some more bells and whistles on the uh, Ultra Classic uh, than there was on uh, the Classic, but uh, 
the electric guide standard pretty much didn't have nothing, no stereo, no trunk, no nothing. So, but uh, we're, we did pick up some uh, uh, lower fairings, which I got at a killer deal. Uh, period correct, paint correct. I just can't believe uh, uh, how, how lucky I got. Well, it took me about three or four months to get them, but anyway, um, we're going to uh, uh, shoot out a part two on this. Uh, I have to do some modifications to the lower fairings because I have the tall boy cycles uh, lower uh, floorboard mounts. Okay, so they bring the floorboards uh, pretty much. Uh, little I, I would say about even where the bottom of the fairing is so it's got to be cut so um, I got a couple ideas going but anyway that, that there's your figures uh, anyway uh, if you're new to the uh, uh, channel please do me a favor and subscribe like the video uh, comment uh, any question any feedback is appreciated um, again uh, this pretty much wraps up this whole deal here. Uh, I'm, I, I'm pretty happy with the stereo. And the reason for the lower fairings is because I want to put uh, speakers in the lower fairings. I don't really want to cut up my uh, uh, lids uh, to put uh, speakers in it because I started looking at it. And, and then you got the six by nines that you can put in there. I, I just leave those lids alone. I like them lids, you know, just. I don't want to give up any room in my saddlebag because there's not that much room anyway. But anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all be safe out there. And I'll see you on the next episode of Corvette Ed's Garage. My problem's not medical. It's psychological.